Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Uh, we are taking a look at one of the beers that my good lady got me for Christmas. Uh, it's from the Hacked Brewery, or Harked Brewery, however you want to say it. And we have a bottle of their Mystic. And it says cherry at the bottom. Uh, it is a fruit flavoured wheat beer with concentrate from cherries. It's also a World Beer Awards winner. Uh, World's Best Style winner this was. So it's... I'm, it's got to be decent, I would expect. It really has. Uh, nice, simple artwork. It's coming in at 3.5%, by the way, in a 350ml bottle. And I have no idea how much it was, because obviously it was a Christmas present. So there we go. There's the bottle cap there. Now, I don't have a Hutch Brewery glass, so we're going to put it in the old Vix one. So let's get it open and see what we get. Cherry wheat beer. Uh, funny enough, uh, I'm certain they do one in Saint in Marks and Spencers actually. There's a Belgian cherry wheat beer. I wouldn't be surprised as well if uh, it's actually their beer. So it's quite interesting to see this, see what this would be like. But I th think it's stronger the one in uh, Marks and Spencers. But like I say, if it's won a beer award. I will expect it to be decent. So, there we go, beer in a glass. <laughs> it's cherry, isn't it? It's cherry all day long. We got about half a finger of pink head. Looks a bit like cherry aid. A few bubbles going up the side of the glass, but not seeing much. So let's dive in on the nostrils, or with the nostrils, dive in on the nose with the nostrils. Let's have a sniff, shall we? Yeah, full on cherry. It smells like a uh, cherry aid, really. It just smells like cherry aid. Not really getting any of that wheat beer thing going on in there. Full on cherry. Anyway, stop sniffing, dive in, and let's have a taste. In fact, before we get diving in with the taste, let's get the rest in the in the glass out of the bottle. All oh, my words are coming out wrong today, aren't they? Jesus. Terrible. You know, it's like, you know, you can't see through it. You know, so let's dive in, give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, that is really full bodied. That's lovely. That's lovely. Uh, that little bit of a head on there really adds to the body. It's got a great body on it. This head gives it a creamy sort of feel in the mouth. Mmm. I can't believe how heavy that body is for something that's three and a half percent. Decent body, really smooth, really soft. It's like silk going over your palate. It really is. Mm. Really tiny little bubbles that go up in your mouth. Excuse me. Three and a half percent. I think it actually feels like three and a half percent. You know, three and a half percent ain't much. But I think it actually feels you get the impression of it being stronger than that, I would say. I think that's maybe because of the flavours in there. It has got a beery taste. Although the big sort of flavour in there is obviously cherry. But I think you kind of get that beery taste before the cherry really sort of kicks in. There's no sort of spiciness of a wheat beer. I don't get that in there. I sort of, you get that slight feel of it actually being a wheat beer, but you, you can tell it's a beer. It, it, it's, you know, simply a fruit flavored, cherry fruit flavored beer. 
and mostly cherry to be honest. Mostly cherry to be honest, but but you do get the feel that it's a beer. But is it any good? Yeah, it's lovely. It really is a lovely beer. Lovely on a summer's day that would be. And you could probably cane the arse off it as well. But 330ml bottle, don't know how much it would have cost. I don't know, you'd, you'd, but you could cane a load, but it'd probably cost you a fortune to cane a load. But uh, for me, yeah, they're mystic cherry fruit flavored wheat beer from Hacked Brewery. I like it, I think that's decent. Uh, if you want something a little bit lighter, something that quenches your first, something that goes down easy, that's going to do the job in the summer. So uh, yeah, if you see it and you like your fruit beers and your wheat beers, give it a go. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, even though I think it's been a bit of a dodgy one again. Bear with me. Pardon me. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.